Hello again. It's me, Milton. Little Milt of Channel. Okay then. The great offering up today is this thing here. Alright. First of all, you've got to say you bought an impact. So, we've got another impact to look at. Not quite just an impact. It is a cordless, four-mode impact driver. So yes, it has impact. Also a screwdriver, drill, and also percussion action. In other words, it's got masonry action on it as well. Which will be the first thing we'll look at. But right now, what are we going to look at? Well, this is the box it came in. We don't really need it now. Ben. We got this sheet here, which is all of the things that Makita actually make. I think they're all uh, battery operated, probably are. They also make Hoover actually as well, I didn't know that, but however, we don't really need that. We have some type of safety warning, we don't need that. And we have something here which tells you something else, I don't know, I'm not with it. Anyway, what we do need is this, the instructions. Yes, we're going to cheat. We are actually going to be using the instructions. Actually, the reason is, is because it's got all the listing, all the speeds, and all the things that it actually does happen, the impact rates and everything. Try to remember this little lot with this. You must be joking. It's four modes, remember? It does four things. A combi only does three. They're pretty easy to remember, but this isn't. So what I'll do is, when we're ready, we'll nip over, we'll jump to this camera, point it down here, with a bit of light coming down on it, so you can actually see what I'm actually going to have to read through. All of this, here, from that finger to that finger, there. And it tells you everything. And then of course, I'll probably have to show you how all this actually works. Because on the front bit here, I can get this angled right, here, there's a little switch that tells you increase, increase. And there are two sets, so there are a little set of lights in here which light up numbers and bars and P's and things, oh jeez, uh, it's quite a lot. So, first of all, this is it, it is the D, I don't know, what was the number about on it again, I've lost it, great, oh, I'll box, we'll just look at the box, it's the DPD141Z, they do do a 14, uh, volt version of this this is the 18 volt version i have to think there right which was, do you have that model number no we don't the stuff we're not bothering 14 volt who buys 14 volt nowadays everything's 18 volt so this is it and this is your mode selector up here on this bit here which selects everything right now it's in screwdriver mode it's in drill mode it's in hammer action mode for percussion and then that's it and a it's impact mode right and of course uh, a nice glowy bit here at the front right you've got the quarter inch chuck here which is six mil in the front coming back through we've done the selector you have your main speed selected up top for high and low which uh, won't work because it's in that mode I forgot it doesn't work in impact mode actually a neat trick i'll show you when you put it over on the impact mode right watch what happens it moves the speed selector up automatically but it has an, another selector for that at the front. You select the actual speed there because you don't need gearing for the impacts. It actually works off the motor power for the speed. Oh, well, okay. That's that explained out of the way. So anyway, you've got this here. And of course, you've got quite a lot of rubber on it. And I also got a belt hook here. But I'm not fitting it yet. I don't know whether I am going to fit it. Because it's quite a chunky little monkey, this. It's quite weighty even with a 3 amp battery in it, and that's why I chose the 3 amp battery, it was a bit lighter. Uh, if you put it like that, it's quite well balanced, right? But hold it out, yeah, it's a bit on the heavy side, I must admit. How heavy, I don't know. If I do weigh, I'll have to weigh in grams. We'll wait and see on that. And of course, you've got a lot of rubber, and when you lay it flat, we're not having the belt hook on it, it doesn't slide. So you could actually put this on a slated roof or something, and it wouldn't slide down. Uh, so that's it, a lot of rubber, and of course you have your forward and reverse switch here, which is very adequate. You have your main switch here, with the light, we'll get rid of that so you're not blinding you. Nice, usual Makita handle with the rubber on it. And of course the light off yet? No, I'll just stick my hand in the front. And of course, in the front bit there you can see you've got your lights, you've got a fuel gauge. You've also got a fuel gauge in the back as well. See? So you have two fuel gauges, 
and of course if they're in there you can see all the little lights lighting up hopefully and of course you've got your selector up here for all your speeds that's what this is and it has a light switch to switch the light on and off fair play seems to be a good idea nowadays some people like it a pack person sell they could have done away with it i wouldn't have bothered and of course we've got the legendary makita body the clips in place and of course the bell hook of course it can be put on left or right so there we have this a quick rundown the usual paraphernalia right its main speeds are well i'm gonna put my glasses on for this i cannot see i wish i'd make the stuff bigger on this one the main speeds are in first right it does zero to seven hundred and second it does 2700 rpm and beats per minute on the hammer now this is actually quite important on this one right is 32,000 i Th is that 32,000 no 3200 oh that has to be impacts that's impacts sorry that's impacts at its high setting it would that would have to be impacts let us check on this uh, impact mode yeah it is on its size setting on the impact it is 3200 actually on brick hammer drill it is 32400 on uh, for hammer action which is quite reasonable spinning at 2700 has it been at 2700 this is why i need this here uh yes it does yeah it does at that it does actually spin at that so i'll just check that because there's that many blinking figures yeah 2700 rpm yeah it delivers 32400 and at 700 rpm it delivers 804 800 sorry 8400 my god i see we my glasses on they do make it small anyway we'll, we'll be having a look at that through this all right then so why did i buy this four mode thing really they're a bit like um the bosch hybrid up here right it's an idea it's a pretty good idea but does it work well that's what we're going to look at to see whether or not it works i'm not i'm not going to pull the punches on this but for me the reason why i bought this personally now the boy anyway there are two ways about whether it had been disabled or not disabled but being disabled it gives me an advantage i find i end up needing two pieces of equipment impact drill but a combi drill right because sometimes you have to go into masonry or i might need an sds drill part of the problem is you then have to lug about being disabled two blinking well pieces of equipment and i've seen one of these oh many years ago somebody either from spain latin america mexico somewhere about there actually then or puerto rican actually did a video on the early one which was actually brushed i kind of liked the idea but you couldn't get it here in britain you could get it everywhere else but britain didn't want it for some unknown reason we never got it and then when i was actually looking at the pricing for the uh, makita uh, impulse drive hydraulic impact lo and behold this came up at the same time thought all right i looked at it price is down on it this originally came out when it came out it was about 400 pound now it dropped a bit uh to about 300 and something now it's down to 185 i think i paid for it i thought you know i'm gonna buy this being disabled gives me the chance to have four things in one so it means i don't have to keep lugging things about all i need is this the necessary bits to make it work and that's another thing that's one of the first problems with this everything has to fit in is a quarter inch chuck on the front which by the way you've got to pull it forward to put the bit in not happy i'm getting sick of this from makita i wish makita would go the same way as milwaukee and the wall and hatachi i think do it as well whereas to put the bit in you just push it in although i will say though this time round i'll get off of there this time this does seem a rather butch quarter inch chuck it seems different anyway you gotta do it back to the tooling it had the first disadvantage it's tooling because we went out today to get some drill bits i wanted new drill bits for this because i'm pitting it up against another drill in masonry to see how it performs you might think it's unfair remember there i said unfair 
you're going to say, hang on a minute, that's a DeWalt DHP481, which actually has 124 newton meters of torque, but about 60 in second speed. Spends at 2,100 RPM, delivering, in beats per minute, 31,500. And what does this one deliver again? We'll just get it right this time. We'll stop making a mess of it. Uh, in part mode, hammer mode. This one delivers 32,400. And this is 31,500. Well, guess what? You say it's unfair. What's unfair about that? Do the math yourself. So, this is the one he's going up against. Uh, shove over there. Good boy. Go on, shoot. Over there. By the way, and I've never tried that drill in masonry. I had an accident with that drill. I was putting a 40 mil uh, Bosch bit, you know, the daredevil ones, you know, the ones that dig in, self-feed. 40 mil, first, second speed, sorry. Ripped the drill, clean up my hand. I went, oh, well then, I guess I won't be doing very much with that one. Mind you, the Milwaukee's just as bad. But now I've learned my lesson with that. And yes, I should have been using the big hand to learn it. I was just being an idiot. Anyway. So we're going to have a shot with masonry on this because my Kias have never ever been rated for masonry work. And I'll say it now, Makita fans, if you're watching this now, your drills and percussion are useless. I'm sorry. You can sit there or stand there or do whatever it is you're at and say, no, they're not. They're actually very good. Sorry. And all the reviews I've seen, plus I have actually used one, plus I've actually got a 10 volt one, that I more or less stopped uh, going at the wall with it and uh, uh, oh god what was it again I was doing I head to head with Milwaukee I just took it out and said this is useless it's hopeless it ain't working so masonry for Makita is usually garbage so we will find out how good this is and I want to have a shot with this to see how it actually performs see if it's actually any better than the rest of the crappy Makitas and uh, masonry so anyway so what we'll do now is We'll very quickly run down here, go on through all the specs and everything, give, give all the numbers. Because some of you guys love the numbers. So if you want, you can either, and it will skip the numbers thing and we'll just move to the next bit. So please yourselves with that one. So I'll get this camera here fired up now. Okay then. And we'll have a quick look at the specs on this and read them. And hopefully I didn't make an arse of that then. We can make an arse of everything. Okay then, we're up here first of all. Impact driver mode. Fastness capacity. Machine screw, 48mm, standard bolts, 5 to 14 mil. high tensile steel bolts, 5 to 12 mil. No load, no load speed, medium, soft and hard, right? We're over here on this one. First is 1,300, second is 2,200, third is 2,700, right? Impact per, impact per minute here is 1,200. 2,400, 3,200, right? No load speed. Oh, there now we're in We've done actually that. Uh, yeah, we've done that. Now we've got a drill hammer mode. Blows, no load speed up here, which is uh, 700 RPM, 2,700 RPM. Blows per minute, uh, first and second, is 8,400. 8, 32,400 as we've been trying. Drilling capacity in concrete is 8 mil. So in other words, we've got some 8 mil bits as well because I bought them as well. Right, drill mode. Drill capacity, right here. Steel, 10 mil, 6.5. So basically I think here what we're looking at is uh, in low mode, first it'll do 10 mil and in its lowest it'll do 6.5 that does not sound very powerful that in wood it'll do 21 mil and on its highest speed it'll do 12 mil yeah that is there's a high and low speeds there so that's your low speed and that's your high speed so i'll read it again in first it'll do 10 mil in steel and in its second speed it'll do 6.5 and again, in its low speed, it'll do 21, and in its high speed, it'll do 12 mil. And no load speed per minute is 700 RPM for foot. Oh, no, wrong one. That wouldn't matter anyway. Uh, no load speed in first, 700 RPM. Again, 2700 for its flat out speed. 
Right, screw driving mode and it is an electric clutch. More about that one when this is over and done with. Right, fastener capacity, machine screws, right, uh, is 3.5, 6mm, 4mm and 6mm. Oh yeah, that's a different speed there, right. So first of all, low speed, 3.5, 6mm. Next speed, high speed, 4mm and 6mm. Okay, fine. Uh, self tapping screws, 4mm, 5mm and then we jump to 4mm, thickness, right, 3.2 millimeter max. Huh. That is not very good at all. That ain't very uh, powerful, meaning very big. No load speed. Right, first 3000 RPM, second 1100. No, depends on torque settings. This is getting rather complicated, this thing. Yeah, the torque settings, if you increase the um, power of the torque settings, they actually increases the speed. So basically speaking, it says here 2300 for P mode. P mode is the one where you would took a self tap and screw, put it through steel and it would. That type of screw, that's P mode. And that spends at 2300. And of course, here we seem to have a problem because it, this says depending on torque settings. So it's not very well up on all the other little bits and pieces. But one more thing I will show you. Alright, let's find it. Not the wrong page. Bring it back over here. It's here. When I was looking at how exactly, right, it actually worked in the electronic clutch mode, this is what I actually found. What they're telling you to do to work with the electronic clutches, your drill pilot holes. Normal diameter of wood screw. This is all your diameters of the wood screw down here. Right, and on this side it tells you what size to drill the hole. Right, we'll stop here and go on back to the other car. Now, difference in voice again. I was probably quite loud on there, now I've gotten a bit quieter. Right, so you can shove you over there. Just I'll just lay this down just now, then the microphone's not getting covered because the microphone sits there. Now, machines, no, sorry, self. Let's get this right. What we want about now, we're on about blinking well. E, e clutch, the e clutch on it. The problem with electric clutches are, as I've always found, when you come to self countersink screws and the ones with all the fancy dancy things on the middle. Like the things like this here. Now I'm not saying the electronic clutch, right, has got to be powerful enough to put this 100mm screw in or 4 inch by 12 gauge or 6 by 100mm. What I'm getting at is these you don't have to pilot hole, they just go straight in. So what they're saying here is you'll have to use conventional screws, pilot hole them, and the e-clutch should work fine. Well, okay, we will try it that way, but maybe if I'd read the Bosch, sorry, not the Bosch, the DeWalt, DCD996, maybe that might add something in the instruction booklet to say that that's what you're supposed to do. But as far as I know, you don't. But I'm prepared to give it a go and give the e-clutch a good go because if, as I've found, countersink screws, or double countersunk screws, the problem with the e-clutch is it'll either underbury it or it'll overbury it in wood. And I've proved this with a DeWalt. I mean, I've done a video on this showing you what actually happens, that they're not that good. But when it comes to pan-heady screws, Bolts, nuts, they're brilliant. I will not fault them. That's a pan head. In fact, that's a pan head wheel washer. If you use normal pan heads, uh, they will actually stop because they offer resistance when this bit here hits the wood. No, well, that's fine. I'm going to not against the clutches, but when it comes to these, oh, and I call them double countersink screws. Sorry, the wood elves, I actually call them flat heads. That's what they call them. So it's a double countersink screw with a flat head. Okay, so I've, been, I've actually um, been nice to the wood elves now. Wood elves are carpenters, joiners, and shattering joiners. And there are quite a lot of shattering joiners out there as well, as I've found. Anyway, so if you can see what I'm getting at, if I was to use a 4 by 50 normal, everyday, common garden, little screw, with all the fancy dancy stuff on it, it should go straight in. 
but what they're saying is use the old type of screws without all the fancy dancy stuff with the cutting heads and reaming bits in it and use them so I will I'll put 10 in with the fancy bits in it and I'll put drill 10 holes and I'll use 10 screws without the fancy dancy bits that's all I can do that's fair enough right now it's whether or not how much time we've got to actually do this though so next on the list six mil drill bits brand new masonry the can go why can go one reasonably cheap and they're actually pretty good bits believe it or not and this one clearly states hammer drill only they also do them in non hammer drill i bought them and tried them out they're actually quite good i used them on the dcd 777 which was a drill driver not a combi which is that's the one i broke on a video which will, we will be taking that to bits oh, okay well fall down won't fall any further Right, so this is a 6mm bit for masonry. And now you're going to say, hey, dingus, it ain't going to fit in there because you need to have a quarter inch fitting to do it. You're right, it ain't going to fit and it ain't going to work. It's okay, I've had two precautions against this. I've got a couple of things I can do. But first of all, I have to find it. Uh, right? A while back, I bought these. I was going to do a review on them to see whether they're any good. They have a collet chuck inside here. You release it and all that happens is you can change the drill bit inside or you can take it out and it's easy to sharpen. Yes, I do sharpen drill bits. But now I need... the adjustable. Why? Because if we put the adjustable on here, what more do we do when we're in... We're in an impact, we'll just slow this down. You control this with that there, you press it, now it's on speed one. That's all I should need to actually take this off, off here, right? You put this on here like so, put it in reverse. There you are, it's off, right? So we take that off like so, screw it a bit. We take this out, I'll just show you, so you actually know that I'm not full of garbage, right? It's a lot of collet fitting on the end, right? It's actually only got four prongs. It's you can't actually get it out, it's not a proper collet, but it's trying to be a collet. Now, here's our six mil. All right now, if you notice, this is loose. This is why I never did a review on it. I got uh, five of these in varied sizes, like from three, four, five, six mil, right? The problem was with them. I'm not joking. All these, I'll just take this out and show you. Actually, I'm have a problem with it. No, it should fit. The problem was, these were all different sizes, and one of them wouldn't even fit in to some of the quarter inch chucks. Yes, some of these quarter inch chucks here are actually different sizes as well. They're not all a quarter inch or six mil, whatever you want to call them. Some of them are different sizes. Because I found one of them wouldn't fit into one of the collets, but it would fit into another collet. <sighs> Crazy, I know. And as I said, these bits here were all different sizes. So I thought what I'll do is I'll hunt about so you can get a better better set. And compare them with the total and our garbage. But guess what? The ones the ones I looked at looked to, to be the same type. Hey presto, that was in part mode. And it's in. So now we have a Nope. It hasn't gripped it. I thought that might happen. Yeah. Because I bet you that isn't six mil on the shaft. No? Feels like six mil on the shaft. Pause this just now. Go and check. Just as I thought, it is 5.76 right on the shaft this should be slightly under 5.55.95 so you see the difference i thought that might happen and it did right okay then fine so backup plan comes into play now what's the backup plan me no silly, me no daft. There it is. I bought 
a chock for impox. I actually did a video on this, right? And I will admit, it didn't do very well. I think I've made a minute. You think I only got about 23 views on it. Fine, okay. So, we pop this in here. Right? Put it on that mod. Oh, there is it. Right? And we take our masonry bit, shove it in there. And now we've got it in there. You see? I can't prepare. And this is what I said about tooling. The minute you start doing things with quarter inch chucks, there's a lot of tooling to buy, and I've got even more tooling. I started, I always wanted one of these years ago, just to try them out, see if they've got to be any good. So, I started buying pieces of equipment, and I've got pieces of equipment. I actually have a 10 mil quarter inch chuck that will fit in there, and I have a 10 mil drill bit for a quarter inch chuck that will fit in there. So, you see? And... Is this uh, impact rated for hammer action? I haven't got a clue, and I don't care. If we bust it, we bust it. Because I've also got something else I can rely on as well. Because I was checking them up today as well. I'll leave that off just now. What am I going on about? When I find them. Oh great, here we go again, I've lost them. Okay, back to pause mode again. Ah, this is turning out to be a well prepared video, I must admit. Three seconds later, what do I find? Right. Now, in case you're wondering, in case you didn't know what these are, right, we'll just pop them up here. These are the wall impact bits. I checked on them. It does not say that I cannot use them with hammer action. So as this has hammer action in it, right, I can also use these. So I wasn't beat either way I went on this, right? But some of you may have chucks. Some of you might have something similar to this, which didn't actually work. Uh-huh, doesn't work, right? So therefore, we've got these to go up. Plus, got one more, All right? Guess what else I've got? I bought these quite a bit back too, All right? Did you get near with that? Yeah, I did. The Bosch bits. Right. Spoiler alert. Quickie. What's the best between these two? Bosch. Bosch are the best. These will actually drill steel. Although I wouldn't recommend it because they won't last very long. But they're actually better than these in masonry. But. Here's the R. But. £18 for these. Right. And £5 for these. So they obviously went on price, hands down. And they're not that bad anyway. I have used these. They do work. And not only that, being longer, it means you might need, need that bit of extra length, right? Because in this one, you get 5.5, two sixes, a 7 and an 8. Which actually I think is a bit better than what you get with the Bosch, actually. The Bosch, you get a 4, a 5, a 5.5, a 6 and an 8. So, there you have it. So... We've also got these, and we also will qu quickly try out some of these in masonry as well. So yeah, we've got to tell on the masonry side of things as well. Uh, using this as well, putting it up against that. Well, the beats per minute and speeds and everything, they do kind of match up with each other, so they should be pretty equal. I know one's got a 5 amp battery, but tough luck, I don't care. I'm not bothered about that. So, we've got this set up now. We'll see how long that lasts, and of course we need that for the 8mm. We're going to need it anyway for the 8mm, and quids, they've all fallen on the flat or fell on the floor before. They've all gone. Alright then, back to pause mode again then, until we find them. Nah, they only fell in the toolbox underneath here, which was fair play. Now, we've got 8mm, I've got, for this one, I've got a 6 and an 8 brand new. So they're none of this, oh well you cheat, you've used a blunt drill for this and that. No I didn't, I used brand new drill bits for them. And that's the 8mm there. They're not too expensive actually, I think they're only about 4 I think that was about £4. And this was about £3. You could say, well, that's expensive to some of you as well. If you think that's expensive, you ought to see them new SDS builds, drill bits. The one with the cross on them. And the God, I can't wait what it is. I mean, I looked at some of them and I went, looked at the price and went, forget it, they can keep them. I'm not wanting them. Right. So what next then? We're now basically set for masonry. 
at the time we're doing it now I've got other things to do so I'll have to do this bit later on that's fine so which you won't notice anyway now I'm trying to think have we covered everything let me think on this one right just to prove to you is that the chuck is actually quite good and it doesn't wobble about all, all over the place right okay it was that bit there is a bit of movement but there's a bit of movement in them all anyway so it doesn't really matter I mean if I'd maybe used the Milwaukee bit it might have been a bit tighter fit that can happen or if I'd used the proper Makita gold bits which we did have some line about which have disappeared I think the son took them because he needed he needed them had a brand new box of them not here no they've gone right so we've covered this now okay then so how do we set up then this machine for M uh, percussion mode it's a problem too many modes right right we move it to hammer drill mode which is there we have a speed selector here right which works in first and second okay right and really that's about it for this one we don't need anything else we don't need to use the fancy little bits just keep my hand on that the fancy bits on top of this under here for, yeah that's only for screw driving and impact mode right so now i think we should get set up downstairs now for the masonry test i think it's about time okay then so we'll get off and we'll get set up for that okay then first up chunky monkey six mil in masonry right we set it up the other well that was last night actually so let's go for it one more thing you may wonder why i'm putting holes in the wall it's to let it breathe we've got bad darkness on this wall through a previous job i'll explain all this in a different video sometime okay then let's go surprise I'll try here of course you guys can see it The reason why it's slowing a little bit is because the brick is actually damp. I notice it is starting to dry a little bit because I've put some previous holes in. And we're getting a bit of dust coming out as well now. And what's happening is it's clogging up on here. And that's why it's slowing it down. Actually, I was quite surprised with that. That was pretty good. Right, let's, let's try the other Milwaukee drill that we've never tried in masonry before. Right? And see how this has a bit of comparison. over a bit here okay yeah definitely it's got more power yeah but it's a much more powerful drill and the hammer mode and the beats and everything kind of matched it didn't slow the chunk little chunky monkey here did kind of slow I'll do one more hole with the chunky monkey let's see how we go on with it Right, so I'll do a couple. Oh, maybe not. It's come undone. I thought that might actually happen. Yeah, it's come undone. Maybe that's it slipping. Right, try again. Line up a bit more, one more for luck. Yeah, that brick was pretty wet. You can see all the clogging on there. Now, okay then, let's get it. Now, you see these do 8 mil. Okay, then, so what I'll do is, I'll pause this, and I'll get set up for the 8mm, okay? Right, now we're set up for 8mm. I'll down on this one here, and we'll see how we go with this. Remember, this is rated for 8mm. Okay. 
simpler. Try another hole, just tighten it up a bit. Right. Okay, dead heat melt and heat damp brick. Right then, let's try the other one and see how that performs when heat melt but in it. Come along here, so now. We'll come back to here actually, see if there's any difference in the bricks. Sorry if I'm holding this up and he gets in the way of the yeah, camera lens, but well. Okay, another one here. Oops. Okay, pretty good actually, quite surprised. For a change, my Kita <laughs> actually made a draw that was pretty good in masonry. You could say, well, this thing all got up to only 14mm. I'll look at it this way. If somebody ever asked me to draw a masonry 14mm and handed me a draw like this, I'd say, where's the SDS? Because that's what I'm using. I ain't using that. These are, as far as I'm concerned, 6, 8mm maximum. Right, we'll go back to Chunky Monkey. We'll see what he can do. Right. Yeah, if you clean the hole out, it, stay, it doesn't have to take off. As I said, it is a bit claggy, this stuff, for this, so, yeah. So, we'll try over here, because we did one with a big drill, and I've used my knee and my hand on this one. Definitely a lot of clagging, you can see it on there. And this is stopping the stuff from coming up and coming out of it, which means it is actually slowing it down. But overall, quite surprised. Right then, I think we can now leave and go back upstairs again. Oh no, we can't, because now we've got to do the other ones, the dwarfs. Right then, all we've got to do is just a set like so, and off we go. This is the dwarf long bit. And we use it in hammer mode because it doesn't say you cannot use it in hammer mode. So that suits me, right? So we'll try and pick we'll put here with the bricks and we'll go down a bit. Right? I'll we'll try and hold it like this. So I'll come here. There we go. Oh. Well, didn't like that one. So we'll come up here. Well, it doesn't seem to like them to all bits. And yet it did the others. It's a good job we had the others. Because if we'd have done this, we'd have said, oh, what a fail this is. It's not, it's the bits. All right then. Maybe the bits had it. So we'll get rid of that and we'll just try and eat. Because this is brand spanking new, never been used. We'll try and eat mil. See if it does it. Come on, get in. We're in. Right, this is 8 mil, brand spanking new. <sighs> nah, not doing it. Right, let's just switch and go to the Bosch. Okay. Leave that there. Oh, I've got the Bosch. I'll just pause this just now. Okay, the Bosch bits. Right. Let's see if they make any difference. We'll just try some different holes. Okay then. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh that's 
weird. That's never happened before. Oh well. Right, we'll try a different place because it doesn't seem to like there. Okay, we'll come up here. We'll come back up here. We can see that basically speaking, the Bosch bits did it, the walls didn't, hence I said, the Bosch bits are actually better, <laughs> quite a bit better by the looks of it. Anyway, that was six, that was two six mil holes of dead weight, that one did struggle a bit, but then again, it did see me clog more, so fine. Uh, we'll do one more over here, see how we get on with that. Okay, so you see the difference? That went in quite easy. Okay then, we'll try the eight. I've got eight ready so we don't have to switch off and reset and all the rest of it. We'll try the eight mil. That's what I said it'd do. Ah, to me I didn't put it in right. Nah, it was me. I didn't put it in right. I just pulled that one out. Right then, back in. Eight mil. Let's see how we get on with that. Yeah, definitely some slow down there as well. Actually, I've just noticed this eight's actually quite sharp. It only actually goes as a fluke to there. So, it's down it. So, we'll go back up here where we're about to struggle here. It's a bit repositioned better. And yet, that flew in, no problem at all. Right, one more for luck in here. We are getting a bit of slow down, but I'm going to put that down to the fact is that the flute's getting clagged up because the brick dust is actually not brick dust, it's merely like a glue and it's actually causing that to happen slow down. So now I think we'll go back upstairs again then. Right, good. We're out of that nice cold cellar. I think that's what you think it's nice for. No, surprise, surprise. Well, I fail. I did not expect that to happen. I expected better, but that's what you get. And of course, I did say the Bosch is better, and it just proved it today that the Bosch is actually better. Right. Because the length of time it's took to actually do this video and try and explain everything, whys and the ifs and the buts, and then of course we had the great big rundown of all the different speed settings and everything. It's blinking a nightmare because they're all different. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this video. Uh, this, this obviously will be part one, and then I'll do part two, which has got to be the impact and the screw driving. Right, and the uh, impact screwdriver, yeah, that's right, and but the drill mode. Now, I did say earlier on, right, that I'd been preparing for this for some time, setting my walkie bits here. Right, let's see what happens when we take the 10mm bit, if only we can get it out, because these are quite tight to come out. Mill walkie, ow! I cut myself. Yeah, near enough though. Right, set us up in drill mode. We're on drill mode, it says it'll do 10mm. I'm curious. Hmm, that chuck is a bit funny. Right, so will it actually drill a 10 mil hole? Keep it right there. Let's try it out. Oh. Well, that answers that question. I could have done it a bit quicker, but I was too worried in case. Yeah, he might have uh, an inverted left it wet too fast went through the table. It did it actually did it I thought pretty good. I'm curious, what would happen if we tried a Ow, that's hot. That's what you get for being a divvy. Wow. Tip on that was hot. So maybe you should try something else. One of them bush self feed bits, what do you think? Before we go. Yeah, I think we should. I'll leave that and let that cool. Right, let's try it. See what we get. Pause this again. Actually, it says it will do 21 mil in its low speed, right? Uh, it'll do 12 mil in 
full speed. So we'll try 12 mil to walk bit. The wash, sorry. See you there again, mixing them up. When I was looking at what I'd done last night, I mixed up them as well. I think called them Bosch. They're not the DeWalt's, as you can clearly see. Right, we'll have a laugh. Right, this is a 12 mil self-feeding bit from Bosch. Right, full speed. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see how far down I can... Right, <laughs> we won't be going all the way through, obviously. Oh, well, I guess that answers that question. It doesn't like the self-feeding bits. It cuts out on you. Oh dear, that's not very good. Okay then, I'll try finding another flat bit that I will do. Okay. Okay, got 13. I know it's one. Uh -huh. And let's try that again. I said there was something different with this chuck on this one. It does feel different. Right, this is a 13 mil. You should do it, really. So let's go and try it out then. No problem at all, that was a 13 mil. So yeah, it obviously doesn't like the Bosch bits, they're a bit too grippy for them. But they are part of a new test that people are doing. Can it do the Bosch bit? Well, as you can see, it failed on that one. But it's through that and no problem at all. And that is just a cheap, crappy one, right? That uh, we do use them, I also use them for experiments as well. Because I actually re-edged them, yeah, I did re-edge these and made them a bit sharper. Well, it didn't cut out when it went straight in. Interesting to see what it can actually do though. Soggy. it. We've got to go for 22. It says it'll do 21. Let's go for this. But it says it'll do it in its low speed. Right. Let's see if it'll do it in its high speed. Okay. Right. Let's check the distance. Back in the back there. Okay. Here we go. Right. <laughs> Again, that was another rubbish bit that I actually re-edged. Well, what a surprise, surprise, eh? It actually did it. Mind you, when you were going straight down through wood and you had to break it through the other side, might be a problem. It did slow a bit, though. Now, I did say these were rubbish bits, these ones here. Right, that's by who actually made them. I found them at home base, cheap to clear bin. I think the cost is about, I don't know, £7, something like that. They were pretty garbage, so... I sat down one night and I re-edged the whole damn well lot. In actual fact, they're not too bad. There are a lot of different sizes in there. Anyway, we've had a look at things, the masonry. We'll do a big sum up on, say, either maybe part two. Hopefully part two won't run on. There is no point in me keeping this running because people just get bored, right? And I think it's better if we do this in stages, right? So we'll do screw driving, impact, and a little bit more wood screw driving. Uh, on this thing to see how it actually is going to perform, right? So we don't have to keep referring to the actual book and reading things all the time. Okay then? Uh, oh yeah, and uh, one thing we did miss out was how powerful is the impact on it, right? It didn't have to state that in there. The impact is 150 newton meters of torque, right? So I've told you that now and I've got everything up to speed on this now. So okay then, we'll call it. So thanks for watching, thumbs up, thumbs down, Subscribe, I'm always easy going about this. Comments below. Hopefully I might get around to answering them sometime, but you never know with me in that one. So thanks so much for watching and I'll look out for part two when I said screwdriving, impact and a bit more on the wood. And I was surprised it did that in full speed because it says it'll only do it on its uh, first speed. Well, it did it. Okay then, bye now. And thanks for watching.